so here the define loads before that the analysis analysis type so it is a static analysis okay and now we have we can define the loads so under the define loads so apply structure so this displacement is for the structures so this displacement is for making the supports so I'm going to constrain these two points as fixed so on the displacement we can select the on key points just select the points two as in the support so just I have selected these two endpoints as it is a simply supported structure okay and uh, it is fully constrained so it is having a degree of freedom as zero so the displacement value is zero on all the directions okay so it is fixed at the ends now we can assign the loads so here each of this top node having a hundred newton so the force on the key points so just set the key points to apply the force then again okay so these points having a carrying a load of uh, thousand newton in y axis and downwards so in downwards so that i'm using the negative value of magnitude 100 newton okay so now the boundary conditions were applied we have to solve this boundary condition for the given structure so now go to the solve the current load step yes that's okay so now the solution has been done now we can see the results for the given structure under the boundary conditions so for the results we have to go through this general post processing and plot results okay let's see the deformed shape for the given load and the boundary condition so deformed shape okay so it is the shape of the deformed structure structure for the given boundary condition okay let's see the deformations occurred on the structure and the stresses that are developed on this particular structure so to see that we have to go through this counter plot on this node solution and here uh, DOF solution so it is for the deformation result and now we can see the deformation on all the direction the displacement vector sum okay so it is the respective deformation for the given boundary condition and these are all the deformation values okay so let's see the structure with the cross section so to see the cross section we have to go through this plot controls and style under this size and shape and the display of element we have to turn on to view the cross sections so now the respective uh, structure with the cross section along with the results so for the better view we can turn off that okay so let's see the stress value so again the node solution so the stress so I have assigned a ductile material so for the better result I have to go through this one my stress yeah so it is the stress developed on the structure for the given boundary conditions